Fresh and Famous Radio. Fresh and famous, home of the fresh news and the famous interviews conquering it all. Right now, we have a Maxim model on the line. Uh, she's on Wild and Out. Uh, she's on Vine videos. She's pretty much doing anything that shows her beautiful face. Vivian Kendall, what's the deal? Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Everything is good. How's your spring going so far? It's going amazing. Keeping super busy. Um, got lots of new projects going on. Super excited! It's been a, a really good year. Yeah, Part of the year is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 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 the, and the next uh, the next season, you know, that's when uh, Wild and Out is coming out. Are you ready for that? Yes, I am. I'm word. definitely ready for it. Word, word. How, tell us how how you got the opportunity to be a Wild and Out girl. Well, actually, I um, I did a whole audition for Nick for a movie um, like a year, yeah, like a year before that. And so that that's how I was first introduced to him. I landed the role and all of that. So I ended up, you know, uh, being on the film and just kind of working with him and, and everyone and um, definitely built like a great work relationship. So when it came to Wilding Out, he asked me, you know, his crew was like, hey, are you interested in this? Something you want to do? And of course, I love comedy. So I was like all for it. I was super stoked about it. And so uh, that's kind of how that happened. That's dope. Now, is that a good um, is that a good place to like for networking? Because, you know, it's a lot of celebrities and everybody that comes. Do you guys get a, get to get a chance to tell them like, you know, hey, I'm a model. I would love to be featured in, you know, so and so. Like, how does that work with, you know, the the wild and out girls with, you know, the celebrities? Yeah, um, I mean, definitely it does open like a little bit of a window, especially because we're working on set with them, you know, and you get to meet a lot of people, but it's, it's just like one giant fun ball of networking. Fun <laughs> ball of networking. Like describe it. Yes, definitely. Like nice. we're having a lot of fun on set and, you know, it's, um, it's definitely like free open networking and it's great. So we do have the opportunity and of course, you know, once those people see us on the show or they, you know, get our names or whatever it is, um, you know, they can look us up. And, and how that goes, our contact our managers, and it kind of goes from there. That's how a lot of girls end up, you know, getting videos or, or whatever it is that, that, you know, artists may be interested in their look with. Cool. I seen a few years back that you did a prank uh, with the Mentos and the soda. <laughs> uh, do you think yeah. that that top the, the monster in the tanning bed or do you think you could have done better? Um, honestly, I don't think it topped the monster in the tanning bed. Because that was scary. The, the monster in the tanning bed was definitely legit. Like, yeah. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. It was legit, and it was it was really funny, because right when I came out of the room, you know, the camera was like, bam, in my face. They caught, like, my initial reaction. Um, the Mentos, you know, it's one of those pranks that's, like, definitely, like, premeditated, because it's such an, you know, it's like the oldest little prank in the book, right? Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely the monster in the tanning bed would be topping that off by far are you a natural dancer or did you did you take lessons um i've always actually been able to dance that's just something since i was younger i've always been kind of like involved with it had lots of fun with it um i do it you know my spare time but it's not something that i go in and take classes for actually um i've never taken any serious dance classes or any of that hmm. Cool, cool. And also, too, I seen you. It was in a Vine video um, the other day. Are you starring in these six second videos all the time, or are you just featured, or what's up with you and Vine? Um, so basically, I've been asked a lot of things like Vine people that are kind of popping off right now to be involved in their uh, videos that they're doing. So I guess you could say it's like a feature, but it's super, super fun. I've enjoyed it so much. I'm a huge, like, comedy person like i love i love that with comedy and you know i do acting as well so i see myself in those type of like roles that in action and um getting a little bit of like work with these buying people was super fun kind of got me getting some ideas cooking in my head so i'm actually working on my own little comedy series like my own youtube channel and everything for uh, my own comedy but as far as those guys um it definitely just like a feature with them so Dope shit, dope shit. How does it feel to be a yeah. Maxim model? You know what I mean? Because you're official, you know what I mean? So how does it feel to be an official model for Maxim at that, you know, one of the one of the most popular brands out? I remember um, basically how I got started into it was the hometown hotties. I don't know, they do that kind of like every year. Mm -hmm. And I had blonde hair back then, but I was really young a few years ago. And, um, you know, I entered into that and made it to semi-finalists. And then they, like, printed our images and, like, all this stuff. And then, 
you know, it was huge exposure with Maxim because after that, they kept contacting me for other work with them and all of that. So that was definitely, like you say, that was my little marker spot in my modeling life that I was like, okay, like, now here comes, like, the real work, the real stuff, you know? Yeah. So it, it was great. Yeah, definitely. So you're cool. I need your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and I noticed too that you. <laughs> I'm, uh, this is crazy, like how much I researched you. But I also noticed that you uh, you do something with your hair all the time. Do you? Is that like? Is that like your trend, or what do you? What is it? What is it with you and hair? No, it's so funny you're talking about this because <laughs> one of my good friends always gives me crap for this. They're like, you're always changing your hair color. Like, yeah. aren't you working on branding yourself? Like, you need to stick to one look. It's just funny. Like, I don't know. I get bored with one look. It's, it's more of a personal fun thing for me, you know? Um, I had blonde hair for so long, too. Quite a few years, and it's like I got sick of it, and I just grew some balls, and I was like, I'm going to dye my hair dark. I'm going to do this. Like, I'm telling you, I was so afraid to do it, but I did it. And the reason why I see so many different hair colors in between that little <laughs> area was because it was like, I just couldn't like darker to darker to darker from blonde so i tried out red i tried out like light brown i tried a mixture i tried everything then finally i was like okay i'm gonna do it black and i actually i love my hair color right now and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna stick with it it's been working for me all right. Definitely getting me more work as well. <laughs> don't don't disappoint your new listeners. They wanna they wanna see you in black. They don't wanna see you switch from black to pink. <laughs> no. What do you think about women like that who switch what do you think about women who go with like, you know, the pink hair and you know, the red hair, the red and black mix, you know, what do you think about women who just go all out? Even like with I, I seen a chick at the club the other day with like green hair. You know what I mean? What do you think about chicks who just go all all out you know you go all out but the chicks that go like beyond you know what what's your opinion on yeah, that yeah definitely i mean i think it's cool like i think it's hair is definitely for you know it's a way to express themselves like you know if you have short hair you, it's like showing you revealing like your whole face it's, it's a beautiful thing you know when people can just change up their look so much with that so it's fun for us women to do that so i see people with like crazy crazy colors um, you know, it's, it's definitely something I couldn't see myself doing, but it's fun to me. Like, some people can rock it so well. It's just like a, it's like a freedom of just messing with your look. And I think it's wild. It's cool. Mm -hmm. You can pull it off. Hey, why not? It's fun, you know? Do it while you're down. Now, if you're 60 with a white pink hair, I'm going to look at you a little weird. <laughs> right. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. VK right here with J.O. So, um... You get the most unusual comments on Instagram. I stalk your Instagram and I see like I, I all right, we got it. We got to go there. We got to go there, V. You already know we got to go there. So the most I figured there's gonna be one of these questions. The mo and you even post it too. That's the crazy thing is you know you get those unusual <laughs> comments on Instagram. What's what yes, do you, what do you what do you think goes on in people's mind when they when they post certain things about you sexually? Like these guys are just they they just make it like. Ah, they're just they're just making like everything that people that guys fantasize. They just it's like a turn off the way they say it. You know what I mean? Like, what is what? Is, yeah, what do you think about definitely. these kind of guys who who are just I don't I don't even know a word for that. <laughs> they're basically creeps, but um, <laughs> I guess that's what they. I guess crazy. that's what it's called in 2014. <laughs> <laughs> they call them creeps. Yeah, no, you know what I think about. I just find it crazy that people. Well, guys definitely will say those comments, but at the time they say those things because they're hiding behind a computer screen. Like, you know, I don't know who they are. You're never going to know who they are. So I think guys just go crazy with it and they like say whatever they want to say. But I mean, like you said, the comments I get are not normal, like at all. Like I, I, I call people out all the time and I post the picture. I like screenshot the picture of the I comment. See. I put it on Twitter, and I totally call them out. I'm like, what is wrong with people? <laughs> it's just crazy. It's That's crazy. great. I wonder if they get followers, like, after that. Like, do you think people even follow them, like, once you call them out? Uh, maybe, just because people are always interested in some drama or, or weird stuff like that. It gets their attention. So, yeah, they, they probably could, but... You know, nothing well, crazy. Well, let me go ahead and make an alias Instagram and try to get some of uh, Vivian Kendall's followers. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Now, now, V, you know, I talked to Lolo not too long ago. She's also a part of uh, the new Wild and Out season as well. Um, and she said that, you know, this season is going to be something newer than the previous seasons. What do you what do you think the new season 
is going to be like for the audience? You know, um, as crazy it is, because I did last season, uh, season five, and it was awesome. It was great, but I don't know what it was about this season. She's so right. Um, I feel like the energy was just turned up, like, so many more notches. You know, um, the celebrity, you know, appearances that we had on there and performances were great. But, you know, some of the people that came onto the show, you wouldn't think would be talking back or, you know, joking so much with our comedians. And um, they, they really definitely did. And there was, like, some crazy kind that they were popping up and, like, the whole crowd, you know, audience. And even us girls were like, oh, my gosh, did that just happen? Mm-hmm. It was just, like, an energy thing. And we um, definitely did more episodes as well. We did 16 episodes. And last season, I believe, we only did 12. So it was definitely, I feel like, just a lot more energy and footage. It's so is it? a lot of fun. I actually cannot wait. So is it is it back to back? Like, do you guys go on on set every day, or how does that how does that work when it's pre recorded? I'm 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 fascinated by that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we definitely did. Um, what was crazy is we did two episodes a day, so you know we would get there early. Um, sometimes it was earlier than nine a.m. Sometimes it was at nine a.m. We would get there, you know, and then we do we take the whole first show and we have lunch and then straight from lunch we go and we do the second episode and we do that and then we usually would get off every day around like nine p.m. ten p.m. Um, and I mean, it's just kind of how it works, you know. And the weekends we would have off, but um, you know, the last two seasons that we've done have been kind of crazy because it's been in New York, of course. And the weather has just been insane, like the snow and, and all of that we got to deal with, too. So, you know, it's, it's a whole a whole friggin' deal, but it's so much fun. It really is. Vivian, thank you uh, so much. And also, too, we're going to talk about this as well. Um, and then thank you for, like, elaborating on that because I tried to talk to Lolo about that. But she was like, oh, you just got to wait. Oh, nope, I'm not going to answer that. So you're straight <laughs> for it. You're my new yeah. favorite Wild and Out girl. I appreciate that. Hey, uh, hey there you go. <laughs> Now, uh, besides modeling and acting and, you know, featuring in films, what what else do you do professionally? Um, you know, I'm working on my own business stuff right now and branding myself. So it's product and business for me. That's something that I'm extremely focused on. I want to have, you know, um, something behind me, another platform besides the entertainment world, I guess I, sh- I should say. Mm-hmm. So I've just been very motivated and working on that with the business manager and everything. Um you know, that's that's basically, like, what I've been doing besides my whole modeling and acting thing. Just been focused on that. Right Thinking up. ahead. <laughs> Thinking ahead. Always. I like that. I like that. That's that's definitely how yeah. women should be always, nowadays. Always. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> um, it takes us to our last question, too. Are there any plans uh, for the summer while the new Wild and Out's going to air? Do you have anything up your sleeve that we should know about? or? Um, it's always in the summertime, so you guys, you know, should look for it probably around like June or July, I believe. But yeah, we that new season's always be coming out in the summertime, so it's gonna be exciting. I'm not gonna tell you who's all on it and give you all the the juicy info. I'm gonna be on it. Leave it at that. I'm gonna be on I that think, joint. Yeah, this season everyone's gonna be crazy about it for sure. <laughs> More turned up. <laughs> what about what about for you? Like, do you have anything special that you're gonna do in the summer? Like any hostings or anything um that we should know about for you i have a movie coming out so that'll be pretty cool hold up Um, i didn't get i didn't get this memo wait hold up tell me about this movie (laughs) all righty so it's called school dance um there's nick cannon he produced it wrote it all that good stuff um it's definitely one of his films and uh it's gonna be coming out in a few months and so I was a school teacher in it, a substitute school teacher, and Mike Epps was a principal. And then now uh, we got Kevin Hart in there. There's there's so many great people in there. Okay. Um, I can so, I can see where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's you know one of my biggest accomplishments. I'm, I'm very excited about that. I got a great role in it, and um, I should in the theaters. You know, that's, that's going to be big for me. So does that make you want to be like a full time teacher, or are you just like nah? Like I seen how these <laughs> students are; they're always looking at my butt. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Definitely not a teacher. I could not deal with that. But as far <laughs> as more movies and acting, hell, hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> Send them the checks. Send the checks. We good. <laughs> yeah. Vivian Kendall, yeah, right here. <laughs> always a pleasure having fun with my models, man. That's one thing about you guys. You guys know how to turn up with your boy, and I appreciate that. Vivian, where can we contact you if we want to keep in touch with you? Hit you up. Send all those thirsty, creepy comments. All that good stuff. <laughs> 
Definitely. Um, everybody can hit me up on Vivian Kindle it's for all of my social media, my Instagram, my Twitter, Facebook, all of that good stuff. My website, VivianKindle.com. Super easy. Just remember, when you spell my last name, you spell it like the Kindle book, K-I-N-D-L-E. Everybody's always pronouncing my last name, Kendall. And it pisses me off. Well, that's because that's everybody's Kindle. ratchet. That's because everybody's ratchet. Hey everyone, you're listening to Vivian Kindle. I'm having a blast right now on Fresh and Famous Radio. Hey. I want you all to tune in to me, Vivian Kindle, once again. Can you say Can you say Fresh and Famous Radio like five times or nah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can. It's like a tongue twister. It's a tongue twister, kind of. That's why people, you know, they I have know, to. Right? It's in debt, Fresh but it's and famous radio. No, 